Previously on The Bill. And I don't know what you're crying for, madam, because I haven't even started with you yet. You okay, babe? Uh, it's Joanna. I can't find her anywhere. Oh, well. I haven't seen my little girl, have you? No, why have you lost her? I'm not sure. Where's my little girl? Where the hell is she, Danny? This picture was recorded at 12.20 today in the front corridor. It's now 14.35, so the golden hour is well and truly passed. And we're upgrading the inquiry accordingly. Joanna is now categorised high risk. She's eight years old. She's vulnerable. And it would appear that her disappearance is totally out of character. Especially since she's the daughter of a police officer. And Joanna's well schooled in the dangers of going off on her own. Needless to say, time is of the essence. Inspector, can you tell us where we're up to with the uniform? Right. We're concentrating on a detailed search and house-to-house -house inquiries within a half-mile radius of this station. And Sergeant Gilmore is coordinating. I've tasked Sergeant Boyden with finding out everyone who attended the open day. Not an easy task, I'm afraid, as not every visitor signed in, so we may never have a complete list of everyone who was here. OK? Thanks. This is a highly sensitive situation. That's why Superintendent Akaru has been called back to work and is at Scotland Yard briefing the top brass with the DCI. Now, it's my opinion and the superintendents that we inform the press of Joanna's identity and we tell them who her mother is. They'll only keep digging until they find out anyway and I personally would much rather control the flow of information than have it control us. I'm the senior investigating officer on this inquiry and I want to stress we're only concerned with one thing finding a child Hello, uh, PC Hollis from Sun Hill. Wonder if I could ask you some questions. What's going on? You look serious. Yeah, well, uh, we're looking for a little girl. I wonder if you've seen her. She's wearing a lilac hooded coat. No, I haven't. Oh, she's a cute kid. I'd remember if I'd seen her. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, Mrs... Uh... Loftus. Kim Loftus. I'll keep an eye out for her. Oh, if you would. Now, um, if you've got, uh, you know, a shed or an outhouse, anything like that, I'd appreciate if I could have a look. Sure. Come this way. I mean, you never know, do you? It's me again, baby. Listen, please call me or Daddy. We're worried about you. We're not angry or anything. We just want to know that you're OK. So please phone me or come straight home. OK. I'll speak to you later. I don't understand it. It's not like her. Kids do wander off, though, Paul. I mean, I know when I was little, I'd get something in my head, I'd go off and I'd forget about the time. There could be any number of reasons why Joanna hasn't turned up yet. Yeah, you're right, you know. Missing kids come home all the time when they get bored or hungry or... <coughs> Joanna? Oh, hi, Mum. No, no news yet. We'll call you if we do. It's just... No, it's just that I need to keep the landline free for Joanna's. So just call me on my mobile. I don't know. Hey. I think the deal I reckon Joanna's been abducted, you know. Like she said, she ain't the type to go wandering off, is she? Yeah, all right, Mickey.
you okay, Sarge? Yeah, I'm fine. Ain't easy for any of us, is it? I know you've got a soft spot for Joanna. Let's just get on with it, shall we? How's the DI doing? Well, oh, she's certainly got the situation under control. Any theories? Not yet. Anything concrete from the troops? No, sorry. There's no need to apologise. It's just so frustrating. Joanna was here right under our noses. Well, Mickey and Debbie are heading over to Eva's, so that means you can call Kerry back in, all right? OK, good. No, you seem to have forgotten that we've got a tiny little problem of our own. Kerry's pregnancy? Oh, well, she hasn't told us. Not officially, anyway. Then we have to find a way to make her tell us. I want her on restricted duties. But you're not even supposed to know. Precisely. I know they're in. I saw someone at the window just now. Uh, could you come to the door, please, sir? No, I'm... Uh... Can I help you? We're conducting some inquiries in the area. Can I have your name, please? Uh, George Clark. Why? George? And you are? Uh, my wife, Patricia. What's wrong? Have you been at home today? We were both here. What's this about? We're searching for a missing girl. Have you seen her? No, I don't think so. What's happened to her? I, I mean, how long has she been gone? A couple of hours. How about you, sir? Sorry? Well, have you seen anyone behaving suspiciously? Anyone hanging around the area wouldn't normally be here. No, no, I haven't. Sorry. I hope, hope you find her. Is there anyone else in the house who could help us? No, only us. Well, thanks for your time, but if you do see or remember anything... We'll let you know. Of course we will. They're hiding something. Did you hear that noise? Probably a dog or something. I mean, we just turned up on the doorstep, probably nervous. Oh, but considering we're asking about a missing child, their behaviour was, well, pretty strange, wasn't it? I'll tell you, something going on behind that door. Oi! What's your game? He was at the Nick on the open day. Did you follow us? Is this the arm of the girl you're looking for? <sighs> Get out of here. Is it true she's the daughter of a police officer at Sun Hill and that's where she went missing from? There'll be a press release soon. Until then, we've got nothing to say. Sure, but if you could tell me how she went missing... Sling her up, will you, mate? You're not open. We'll take a minute. I just need to get some shots, that's all. Get lost. Wait, mate, are you deaf or something? Oh, Sammy, that's brilliant. Can you show your mum? It's a house. Oh, wow. That is wonderful. Who's mummy's clever little boy, eh? Sammy's uh, gonna go to Nana's for a couple of hours. Aren't you, Sammy? Yeah. And is your Nana gonna make your tea? Get this one a drink, eh? We'll do that if you like. Yeah, thanks. Come be fun. Okay, we're here to thoroughly search Joanna's room, and um, we'll take anything away we think's relevant for analysis. Like what? Oh, her letters, diaries, computer. It's just standard procedure. Well, you don't think she's gone to meet someone? No, they're they're just keeping an open mind. That's all. Joanna is missing. There's no evidence that there is anyone else involved. That is still the case, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Because I know that in five minutes she could walk through that door wondering where her dinner is. But she's been gone for three hours. I know. 
And if she's not back by six o'clock, we want to do a TV appeal. Any luck? Oh, no. No, not yet, but uh, everyone's been very helpful, you know. Actually, I wonder if you could help me. The Clarks. How well do you know them? Hardly at all. I've lived here ten years and they were here before that. But I don't think I've ever had a proper chat with them. Keep themselves themselves, huh? You say that again. I try being friendly, but they don't seem interested. They never have anyone round to their house. Have we got any pets? I don't know about that. Never seen any. Still, they're harmless enough, just not exactly the life and soul of the party, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I think the only time I see Patricia smile is when this one's about. Anyway, I should go. I'm sure you don't waste your time nattering to me. Good luck with the search. Yeah, thanks. Gary. You all right, mate? Do you work with Mummy? That's right. You was at the station earlier, weren't you? Did you like it? It was all right. Now, when you was at the station, Sammy, do you remember seeing Joanna go outside at all? Do you remember the last time you saw her? Or did Joanna say anything to you at all? No, she wouldn't play with me. Is Mummy cross with Joanna? She's... She wants home in time for tea, that's all, mate. Hello, sir. Are you the owner? Yes, I am. Is this about the little girl who's missing? You've heard? Bad news travels fast. I guess so. You've been here all afternoon? Yes, I'm here every afternoon. Every morning, every evening. Maybe you've seen her, then. I wouldn't remember, I'm afraid. Children walk in and out of here all day long. But perhaps that may be of some help. Great. Can I have a look at the tape? Of course. Come through. I have been through her things a few times already. There's nothing here of any use. I mean, you never know. I might pick up on something you've missed. Back that up. Could be useful for DNA analysis, just in case. We don't have to do this yet. I'm a copper sarge. Here. Oh. Here's a list of what she had to eat this morning. Some cereal, yoghurt for breakfast and a banana later on. It's all there. Eva, you should leave this to us. You need to think of yourself and your family right now. I know how it works, Sarge. Can't pretend I don't. Better now while I'm thinking halfway straight. What's this? Th this is in case you find her. No, Paul, it's, it's just procedure. It doesn't mean anything. Hey! Come on. Everything will be all right. I'll sit down. And? She's being totally professional. She's really holding Paul together. He was a very good officer. Mm. And a good mother. Talking of which... I'm sorry? Well, I expect you want to help him with the search. Of course. Is there any reason why you shouldn't? Who told you? I believe Luke was very excited. I'll kill him. Well, don't. It's perfectly natural. Congratulations. Thank you, Mum. So, I'm on restricted duties. Sorry. I do want to hear about it when it's due and all that rubbish, but just as soon as we find Joanna, all right? Yeah, sure. Go on then. Chilly bit. Hey! 
What's going on? Search party. Little girl's gone missing. Now you live around here, don't you? I don't suppose you've seen her. A, a black girl, about eight years old. No, sorry. I'll look out for her. Nice to see you again, Luke. Thanks again for all your help before. No, no, just doing my job. Hope you haven't had any more problems. No, no, living the quiet life. Waiting for you to call. Yeah, well, uh, listen, I, I better get on. Yeah, I... I'm sorry, sorry. Listen, can I help with the search? I'm not doing anything. Nothing important, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, if you want. More people, the better. Fine. Where do I start? This way. Hold on. Can you rewind that a bit? That's her. That's Joanna. Any luck? No, nothing at all. Oi! Gaz! It's got Joanna on it. She was on her own. Where was she? Corner shop, Wellbank Road. Nice one. Gotta get back to the Nick. CID want to see her straight away. Well, we're in the right area then. It was so at the Clarks. Look, now we know that Joanna's been 50 yards from their house, I'd say they've got some questions to ask, wouldn't you? Oh, I've just heard. See, idea waiting on the tape. Oh, well done, Ruby. It looks like Joanne's gone on quite some walk. And we'll be doing a fine tooth around the area of the shop? Mm, of course. Oh, all right. Well, we still need to keep an eye on sex offenders. This is Jack Meadows' up to date list of local favourites with head and shoulder picks, right? And community safety are targeting the most likely. But I want you to circulate this to everyone in uniform. We need to know whether they've seen this lot hanging about. You know? Okay, I'll get this photocopied. Oh, and I'll let you know what CID reckon when they see the tape. You need to think about giving the troops a break, because some of them have been on since six, all right? Yes, ma'am. Oh, Kerry, could you give me a hand photocopying this? Yeah, of course, Sarge. You okay? I just... I wish we'd find Joanna. And I feel lame being stuck in here. Apart from that, I'm fine. Yeah. Well, it can't have been easy around Eva's house. All that emotional stress. Especially with you being... Pregnant. Yeah. It might sound funny, Sarge, but it didn't feel stressful. Seeing how much Paul and Eva love their kids and each other, it made me think about me and Luke. I hope we can be that strong together when we're a family. Yeah, uh, Joanna... I'm with Eva on this one, Sarge. We all have to be. We're going to find her. Come on. Oh. You again. Mr. Clark, do you think we could clarify a couple of things from when we called round earlier? Really? What things? Well, it'd be better if we had a chat inside, wouldn't it? I mean, if you don't mind. Do you mind if I call you George? No, that's all right. Well, George. George! Look, Hello, love. Oh, careful, oh, mother. Careful there. Oh, now, oh, there we go. Oh, all right. There we go. Oh, Where's the usual spot? Oh, it's all right, Gary. You relax. Oh. There we are. Oh. All right. Oh. What's your name? Who wants to know? PC Hollis. Oh, Reg, if you prefer. This is Gary Best. We're from Sunny Hill Police Station. You can call me Alice. Mrs. Clark to you. He's a bit young, isn't he? What? Hey, he's all right. We keep our eye on him. Now, George, you didn't tell us that your mother was living here, and I did ask you if there was anyone else in the house. I, I didn't. I didn't think she'd be able to help you. She's. She's a bit confused, as you can see. I, I'm sorry. You should have told us anyway. Now, look. I'm going to have to ask her some questions about this missing girl. All oh, secrets. They always lead to trouble. It's all right, mother. Don't. Don't worry. That's a good spot you've got there, Alice. You might have seen this girl this afternoon. Well, they think I don't know about the child. Well, I do. No, what, Alice? Hey? What do you mean, what child? George! 
They want to know if Mum can help with the missing girl. It's all right, Mum. Don't worry. Mrs Clark, I'm sure you realise how serious this is. Now, Alice, what's this child that you keep talking about? You're upsetting us. Surely it's obvious she can't help you. Look, if she knows anything, that would help us. We have to question her. Well, I'm sorry you can't. She can remember things from 20 years ago, but she's no good on the short term. Would you let us deal with this, please? Alice, love, I have to ask you about this child. Child? No. I know when to keep me trap shut. God, it doesn't take that long, does it? No. Not surprised. A couple of losers of own kids. Big story, isn't it? Look, what's going on? That you two were quiet earlier about Alice when we come out. Because we knew she wouldn't be able to help you. Is it because you're afraid that she might tell us something you don't want us to hear? Is that it? Is this about that missing girl? Look, do you know something? No. What do you think we are? My heart goes out to that little girl and her parents. If we knew anything that could help, we'd tell you. Of course we would. We haven't done anything wrong. You've got to believe us. Uh, I knew this would happen. You're wicked, a pair of you. Oh, shut up, Mother. Look, I'm warning you two, right? If she wants to speak, you let her speak. Now, Alice, you want to tell me something? Listen to me very carefully. If we're having a chat, how about a nice cup of tea? This is good, Ruby. This is very good. She looks happy enough, doesn't she? Just like any other kid trying to decide what sweets to buy. So it's Mr Patel on the corner of Limassol Street and Wellbank Road, yeah? That's right, Gov. It's quarter to one. 25 minutes after she left here. That's good. That ties in. So have you spoken to any of the residents near the shop? A lot of them. No one seems to remember seeing her. We'll talk to them again. Keep knocking on doors until you get an answer. If Joanna was in the area, someone must have seen her. This is a great help, Ruby. Thank you. What's this? Where'd you get it? Is she all right? Do you know where she is? No, not yet. But this is a great lead. Luke? Everything all right? Sarge, except we haven't found her yet. There's nothing back there, Luke. Where next? Well, we haven't covered that area yet. Why don't you go and join that group? Is Mr Sporty a volunteer? Or is he just a good friend? He's just helping us out. She doesn't know anything. There's nothing to know. I know what you've been up to. I got here. Mother! You can't listen to her. Yeah, we can, and we will. You know, I don't think you two understand how urgent this is. All right, now, look, you mentioned a child earlier. What did you mean? They don't think I know about the baby. Secret, see? They was always the same, even as kids. Were they? What secrets? Please, Mum. Me and their father both knew what was happening. We tried to stop it when they was young. That lot of good it did, though. Oh, I don't suppose you'll ever change now. You and their father? You mean... You're not married at all, are you? Here's something else. What? Those sweets she was buying, I never let her have those, do I? No. So? So, she was just being naughty, defiant. It proves that she just went off in a strop. Angry, because, um, because I shouted at her. Eva, don't blame yourself. No, I'm not. I'm sure. The CCTV proves that she wasn't going to meet someone she'd met on the internet or, or whatever. She's just trying to teach me a lesson. And if you're right? 
We'll find her. Now, what did Alice mean when she said she knew about a child? She means Bridget. Pack. I want to tell someone. I need to, George. A long time ago, before we came here, we had a daughter. Bridget. She wasn't planned. Of course she wasn't. But it happened. Anyone else would have been over the moon. We were at times. Brief moments when we could forget who we are. Forget we're brother and sister. She died after four days. I guess her genes weren't right. Was that our punishment, do you think? We know what it's like to lose a daughter. We would have helped you if we could. I realise it. No, I'm going to have to caution you about this, you know. I reckon you've got a choice. Correction. I reckon we've got a choice. Go on. Do you remember when my daughter went missing? I know Abby's a lot older than Joanna, but that doesn't mean it didn't affect me. I was frantic. I was sick with worry. What are you getting at? I could come over all motherly, hold your hand, be sympathetic, tell you how much I care. Or I could run this case like I run any other. Professional, focused and objective. In my experience, feelings just get in the way. They cloud your judgement. Don't you care that other coppers might see you as an hard-faced bitch? I care that you know I'm not. That driving everything I do is a burning desire to find your child. Be as hard as you like. Including ordering you to butt out when I think you're getting in the way? Yeah. As long as you swear, you'll tell me everything I need to know. I'll keep you in the loop. I promise. It could be good for both of us. You could shed some light on what we discover. You hard-faced bitch. That's me. So now we understand each other. We do. Disgusting. We should have nicked him for it. Oh, that would make it better, would it? No, nothing would make that better, but I don't think he should be getting away with it. Yeah, you think they're getting away with it? But come on, you saw them in there, living with the guilt every day. They can't associate with other people. They're virtual prisoners. Let them get on with it. Well, it ain't right. I do know that. Look, I'll tell you what. I mentioned the CID, but I'm not going to recommend they pursue it because they're not going to get a prosecution. They're not doing anyone any harm at all. Look, if they were to consent, no. but, yeah, which is unlikely, that would be a different matter, wouldn't it? But they're not. Any personal effects, fragments of clothing caught on branches, that sort of thing. Also, look out for any disturbed ground or signs that someone has been here recently. Finally, don't spread out too wide. We've got to cover every inch of this place. I'd rather two of you search the same piece of ground than we miss out on something vital. Thanks for coming. Keep it up. So you still haven't told me? I told you what? Why you didn't call? It was awkward. I... It's OK. I can understand that. Still, we attempted. It doesn't look that bad. Problem? No. No, it's nothing, just a scratch. It's just brambles over there. It's fine, honestly. Makes you think, doesn't it, all this? You're taking on a lot when you bring a child into this world. It's not a responsibility I see myself having to live up to in the future. Okay, now we're here at the police station. All of Joanna's usual haunts are here. School, home, where our friends live. The sweet shop is here. In a totally different direction. 
So the question is, where was Joanna going? I don't know. Neither do I. Oh, are you absolutely sure? Mm. Have you got a map of the wider area? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um... Okay, it's a long shot, but anything. If you follow it in a straight line, it leads to Anthony's eventually. Who's Anthony? Uh, my brother. But I've already spoken to him. He hasn't seen her. Besides, if if we're going to go there, we don't take that route. If we're going to go to Anthony's, we go along Cannon Road. I've taken her that way. Only a couple of times, mind. When I've collected her from school, had to nip into work and pick something up on the way. So if she was here and she was going to visit her uncle, she would go past the sweet shop? But she's not there. I mean, Anthony would have told us. We're not saying that she's there. We're saying that she could have been heading that way. I'm going to talk to Gina. I'm going to refocus the search. Look, it's positive, darling. Honest. She probably just got lost and ran out of juice on her mobile. Yeah, but then she'd ring from a call box. Yeah, not if she spent all her money on sweets. I'm going to get back to the station, give it another half an hour and then give everyone a break. There's no food in the canteen because of the open day, so you'll have to call out for something. All right, well, I'm happy to carry on, and I know that everyone else is. No, we'll all work better if we look after ourselves. Get some food, take a break, just for an hour or so we can carry on later. Sarge. Oh, and uh, keep me informed of any developments. Eva's pointed out that the shop where Joanna was last seen is miles away from her usual haunt, but it's in the direction of Paul's brother's house. So, search a wide corridor around here where the shop is and all the way over to here where Anthony Sharp's house is. OK, we'll shift our resources. It's our most promising lead so far. Consider it done. Great. It's early days yet? Yeah, I know. Yeah, but you know what? My mum's going to phone up any minute and she's going to say that Joanna's turned up with that cheeky grin on her face. Exactly. Yeah. Heard you got a lead. Yeah, uh, just a theory. She she might have been heading to Paul's brothers. A uniform onto it now. Oh, I wish I could wave the magic wand. <laughs> oh, it's it's not your problem. No, I do. I really do. Look, I... I know... It's my own fault. I've got no real friends here, but... But you've been good to me. More than once. So, how's your little fella? He's fine. <laughs> More than fine. Good. Sarge. Can I tell you something? Of course. I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> Visitor for you. Uh, this is Acting Detective Inspector Nixon. Kevin Salter, Area Press Officer. Oh, hi. Pleased to meet you. So, where are we up to? The local radio appeal's already going out. We're targeting anyone who was at the open day. What are your feelings about TV coverage? Well, I've spoken to the parents and we've agreed a six o'clock deadline. No problem. I'll set the wheels in motion. OK, well, I'll set some space off you here. You must be joking. The commissioner's already concerned that a child managed to go missing from a police station. Last thing we want to do is rub it in. We'll do the appeal at Scotland Yard. As you can imagine, politics aren't my first priority. That's exactly why I'm here. Pity she went missing on a Sunday. Why? No evening papers. We won't get her face on the front pages till tomorrow morning. Oh. Well, look, you, you need to meet Eva and Paul. I'm not exactly sure where they are at the moment. Oh, Debbie, have you seen Eva? Yeah, I just bumped into her in the loo. Well, could you get her and Paul, please? Sure. Can you excuse me a second? Debbie? How is she? Yeah. 
She's Kevin. Nothing. Listen, thanks for your help. I'm only sorry we didn't find her. Oh, we've got the whole station out looking for her. They've probably got all sorts of leads by now. It's good to know. Yeah, see ya. Luke. Yeah? Can I, uh... Can I talk to you? No. I've spoken to my colleagues at the yard. We got the media boys on standby for 6.30. Well, let's hope you can call them off. Nothing would give me more pleasure. Ah, oh, here's Gina. All right. Any updates? Nothing concrete, I'm afraid. But your brother, Anthony, has been most helpful and cooperative. In fact, he's still out there helping my officers with the search. But Joanna hasn't been seen in or near Anthony's house. He definitely hasn't heard anything from her. What about the area along the route? Well, we're still searching, but the initial sweep hasn't yielded anything so far. Oh, you said yourself it was a long shot. It was the only thing that made any sense. Well, you know, she might have changed her mind, headed back home. In other words, she could be anywhere. Large parts of the area have been searched, and we will keep looking. Yeah, all night, if necessary. Right. Let's go to Scotland Yard. This time we went on television. I used to run away all the time, you know. Regular as clockwork. They used to find me at the Pleasure Beach by the laughing policeman. <laughs> I was obsessed with it. Must have been a sign, eh? I never ran away. Oh, you a good girl. Can't imagine that. Why aren't you helping out with the search? Um, mm, on restricted duties. Why? Carry you up. <laughs> it's meant to be a secret. <laughs> I am so happy for you. Thank you. I don't feel much like celebrating, though, not the moment. Yeah, we've got all that to come, haven't you? Mm. Poor Eva. I keep thinking about when Cass went missing. Try not to think about it. The thing is, it couldn't happen twice. That's what I reckon. Do you? Yeah. When Cass disappeared, we didn't even know we should be worrying. This is different. Yeah. Everyone's out walking. Yeah. I really miss Cass. I know. Let's just hope and pray Joanna's safe. Yeah. yeah. Right, we're all set for Scotland Yard. We've gone for the 6.30 slot, so we'll be going on local news, Sky and News 24. We'll start off with a police statement and then ask Eva or Paul to say a few words. I don't mind doing that. Actually, I think it might be better if Eva spoke. Why, because she's a copper? No, because I'm a woman. Evidence has proven that the public has a great deal more empathy towards the mother. She's my daughter too. No one's disputing that. We just need to make sure that the appeal's as effective as possible. I'm sorry, it just feels like you're all members of a club that I don't belong to. That's not our intention, Paul. It's up to you whether you take questions or not. We'll take questions. It's too right. And I'll write you a script. There's no need. I am a copper after all. I thought we should try and eliminate certain types of area first, for example, parks and waste ground, rather than try and search the whole borough. Good thinking. Mm. I'm going to pop out for a while myself. I thought I'd get some supplies for the troops from Barton Street. Take Kerry with you. She would do the breath of fresh air. Craig. Mom. Gina. Can we talk? Yes, yeah, sure. Kevin Salter and I have been talking, and we'd like to ask you a favour. Oh, yeah? Will you front the appeal? Well, oh, you don't want to do it. It's a bit early for CID. Um, as soon as they see me, the press are going to decide we're looking at a suspected abduction. And my uniform says missing person. Worrying, but not horrific. <laughs> Got it in one. Yeah, no problem. Well, if necessary, I'll do it next time. Mm, this prep doesn't come to that. I'll see you, all right? See you later. All right, thanks. Luke. This is getting silly. I can't leave it like this. I'm attracted to you. You're attracted to me. I know you are. The way you look at me.
What's up? Uh, nothing, nothing. Oh, can I put this in the bag? No, we need to go back inside. We've forgotten something. Come on. What are you looking at? I'm married. We're having a baby. Now go away. Television appeal. Never thought it'd be me. All set. Are you okay to do this now? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'm Inspector Gina Gold from Sun Hill Police, and I'm coordinating the search for Joanna Sharp. Joanna has been missing nearly six hours, and we now feel it appropriate to enlist your help. Joanna's parents, Paul and Eva, are here. Eva is a detective constable based at Sun Hill. Now, once I've outlined what we know so far, she'll be talking to you. Can I stress that this is a missing person inquiry and we have no evidence of third party involvement? The circumstances of Joanna's disappearance and her young age do, however, give us cause for concern. Will you be taking questions? If Paul and Eva feel up to it, they'll take a small number of questions at the end. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you just bear with us, we'll be starting the appeal in a few minutes. Thank you very much. I've got that list of points you might like to cover. I told you I'll be fine. Well, think of it as a security blanket. I tried to stop you. You, you shouldn't have found out Luke was gay. At least not like this. He should have told you himself. What do you mean, he's gay? Well, you saw him with that guy, Joe. I saw Luke talking to a bloke. A gay bloke? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I must have got it wrong. Sorry. No, wait, whoa, whoa. You don't get out of it that easily. Okay, this has been going on for too long. Even your ex-boyfriend had a thing about Luke's sexuality. What, is this? Is this something that's happened that I don't know about? No. Well, then why would you say he was gay? It's just what I assumed from when I first met Luke. And Carl agreed, he thought the same about him at school. This guy Joe has been following him around all night. And they look close. Too close. You're not telling me the whole truth. Yes, I am. No, you're not. But you know what? I'm going to ask my husband what's going on. Joanna Sharp is eight years old. And she disappeared from Sun Hill Police Station at 12.20 this afternoon. There was a positive sighting of Joanna at a newsagent's on Wellbank Road at 12.45, confirmed by clear CCTV pictures. Joanna bought sweets and a drink and seemed perfectly happy. What we don't know is where Joanna went next, and that's where we need the help of the public. Joanna is wearing a lilac hooded coat. Her hair is in plaits and she has a lilac ribbon in just one of her plaits, identical to this one. If anyone saw a girl matching Joanna's description after 12.45 in the Wellbank Road area, then please ring Sun Hill Police Station on 0207 Five double one oh nine five three. That's Sun Hill Police Station, O two O seven five double one O nine five three. I'm now going to hand you over to Joanna's mother, Eva Sharp. <coughs> Hello, everybody. Right, as you know, I'm a police officer. But I'm not going to talk to you as a police officer today. I'll leave that to Inspector Gold. 
I'm talking to you as a mother. I can't believe that's evil. It's been six hours since we last saw Joanne. You've seen it so many times. And we're starting to get it lost. It feels so different when it's someone you know. I'm appealing to every one of you. Keep an eye out. And if you're in East London, or in Sunhill in particular, to please search your sheds, your lockups, your garages, whatever. It's just in case Joanna was hiding in there and she's fallen asleep. <clears throat> I think Joanna was running away because we'd had a row. I shouted at her and she ran away, so. She's bright, cheeky. But I need China to know that I'm not angry anymore. If you're watching, darling, I'm sorry I shouted at you. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry and I just, I, Please come home. No one's angry, darling. No one's angry anymore. We love you. Daddy loves you. Sammy loves you. And I love you so, so much, baby. Please, please come home. So if you've seen anything, anything at all, please contact Sunhill Police Station. Your information could be vital. Thank, Thank you. you. I could just say something else, please. If somebody out there has got my baby, please let her go. Please don't hurt her. Please let her come home. Next time on The Bill. What about Eva? Uh, she's at home, Gov. With Jim Carver. Get close, win the family's trust, keep your eyes open, gather intelligence. You're here to pry. To right I am. You're wasting your time. <sighs>